hello everyone uh, in this video i will uh, show you how to get uh, text similarity so text similarity just uh, shows a similarity score between two uh, sentences or two pieces of text and this is can be quite useful if you are having like uh, some items people that they use shopify or e-commerce mostly they have products and they want to match these products together sometimes the products look uh, similar and uh, we want to know if it is the same product or not so just similar score there are many uh, methods and i have uh, added them uh, in a form of a function inside this uh, macro enabled workbook and uh this actually they have here like uh, these methods that they are used in the function so for simplicity i just added one function only and uh added some uh like methods inside this function so it will be one function for all of them and then you just change uh, the parameter inside this function in order to uh get uh like what's similar it so you have this Jaro, Levenstein, Cousin, and Smith Waterman, Enneagram, and so on. So uh, I just added uh, this list here, like this list I got it uh, added here, so you can play with many of them. And the same also I added it here, so if you wanted to compare later, I will show you how to do it. So the function is called similarity score and actually this function asks you to uh, choose this one which is like string number one and then uh, like s2 which is string number two and here is the method actually it should be this one for example you, you can like write it as it is but if you write it in a different way like uh, like in gram or Levenstein fold, it won't match inside the function. The things that match inside the function are the things that I mentioned here in this one. So these are the valid values that you can uh, choose from. So these are uh, things that we can choose. But uh, for simplicity, we use, for example, for now is any gram. And this is in case if you are choosing uh, case sensitive, if it is by, by default, it is false. Um, but you can uh, keep it in case you have case sensitive things also. Or, and in grams, there is number of n grams that you want to search like two, three, four or five and so on. But you can leave them. The default here is two and the default here is false. And uh, that's it. You should get this as formula. It is like this is a percentage, but uh, as I mentioned, you can uh, control it. So, so um, as a number, for example, so it will be one only. So it should give you a number, and you can convert this into percentage. So to show you the matching. So. For example, we want to fix this one here. And this one also should be fixed. So So it will, if, if you drag it like this, it should match this sentence with this sentence. So it shows here that 58% matching. And if you change the method here, like Jero, it will show you that this, because it is, this is the same sentence, it will show you 100% matching. And because this one is different from this one, so it will show you different. Uh, Add things like this, and so on. Uh, we can extend this by uh, dragging 
this one here should this means that uh, if we are matching something that is actually uh, like not exactly what we are so here is uh, what we are using to match the cosine similarity and here is we are matching actually p4 with c3 uh, which is not our case actually so before uh, matching things make sure that you are matching the correct cells we can actually fix this one it is matching and then you can actually drag this to the side and that will match automatically so it is the same scores but with this one so if you are adding for example a new sentence then you can just get this uh, now and, and here and make sure that you are matching the correct uh, then you should actually have this one added here so it should be easy later to change this into something like this and see that this is called the change and uh, whatever you add here you should add also add here in order to create something like uh, a matrix and you can actually like compare uh, between two so you have if you have this similarity score you can actually use something like compare to uh, match text one so the text one will make it here this one so you should fix this and uh, create this one and the other one should be the same before adding it we should add the second one Let's add also like a colon sign. So by adding uh, this colon sign, just it shows the name, what is the name, and what is the score of that one. Let's change this into this one. Okay. So it will show you that uh, the score for each one of them, you can see, so we have actually this as long, you can add something like uh, rounding. So you can round this. And the same here, so you don't get this long weight numbers for similarity which is actually like pretty uh, specific number and that's it you get things like this but it is actually like uh, we are matching uh, things <laughs> So this one should be matched with this one. And then this one actually like it got moved when we dragged it down. So we have to fix this. So it doesn't show weird. Uh, formulas or output so you can see here and once you can change this you can see uh, the difference in similarity between each two algorithms if you want to um, 
compare them to each other. And uh, that's our uh, video for today. I hope that you find it uh, useful. And if you found it so, please uh, share it and subscribe. And uh, you can also add a comment if there is uh, anything that is not clear. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, see you in another one. Thanks for watching.